Hey guys, Sapboy123 is back and we're playing more Let's Play Tomb Raider 1. Now we finished Peru and now we're about to enter the Greece section. We started with St. Francis Folly. But enjoy the FMV because since I'm playing on the PS1 emulator, I don't have to edit it in. Thank God for that. Located now to St. Francis's folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiokan, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself, my toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. Now it begins, we follow Pierre Dupont. Is his last name Dupont in the original? Oh well, since we don't know his last name, I'll just call him that. And the moment the level starts, we're going to get hassled by lions. Bloody bastards. Where the hell are they? It feels weird, to be honest, not hearing wind sound effects. I'm used to hearing wind, being the PC player that I am. Rather than just a silence. I don't like it. It's probably one other thing why I've had a PC. It feels more complete with its ambient tracks. And the music tracks. But when it came to Classic Tomb Raider, I've always loved ambient tracks. As I feel like it gives it more atmosphere. And you just actually feel like you're playing a game. Like how in nowadays, like... They would have like music in the background while you're playing. I like that. Like this now. I like music. As long as it fits the situation, I don't really mind it. I like you fucking monkeys. Come on. Oh shit, you're too close for comfort. Oof. Now, normally a third monkey can spawn. But not always. I guess it depends. It's like random. Oh, there it is. I'm stuck on the wall. Come on. Oh shit! Oh. That was close. And now Pierre's gonna be waiting for us. Where are you, you hair? Just pump loads of legend to him. You can't kill him. So we just have to make him run away. Why does this disappear behind pillars trick? You know he disappears because if you hold action and loud just start shooting again rather than not, then you've done it right. Because you just keep shooting. Right. Now we've got silence again. Love the silence. Now already we can get a secret. This is the first secret of the level, but it can be quite tricky to get. As you have to do some backwards slurp jumping to get on that platform. 
that can take a lot of tries. I've just I've done it so many times. I'm just used to it. But even then, if you do it a certain amount of times, you can still fuck up. Because I think I fuck up a few times in Tomb Raider 1 Revised. It's not a lot of items, but every little helps. Right. Now we can continue on with the level. Now, Sir Francis Foley, what I think about the level, um... Ooh, it's okay. I do like some of the challenge rooms. It's just... When you get into the main folly room, it just feels tedious at times. Like, really tedious. Like, Greece is not really one of my favourite sections. I do like some of the levels, like... The Cistern. I don't hate that level. In Anniversary, I hate it, but... I love it in the original. Um, there's no save crystal here, is there? Fuck. Because here, there's another secret. You can get two secrets in one again. But I think I remember how to do it. Drop here. And then just don't press anything when you climb up. Then jump instantly. Yes. My heart was racing. Honestly, if I was PC, I wouldn't have felt anything. But because it was PS1, I didn't want to have to do the whole level again just to get that secret. I wouldn't have. Don't worry. I wouldn't have done that. I'm not like that. A secret is just a secret. Don't pull that switch. Because we need to get another secret. But we're not alone in the water. We've got crocodiles. And it's going to nibble at my vagina while I try and get to the home. Yep, it's nothing major, it's just some shotgun shells. But honestly, you're going to need all the ammo you need. Because just using pistols... I respect anyone who can do these two mini games with just pistols and no many packs. Like, honestly, I just can't do it. Wait, I've already got my pistols out, what am I doing? I'm very conservative of ammo sometimes though, only using my shotgun when I have to, or magnums or oozes or whatever. If I think I can kill it with pistols without taking too much damage, I'll do it. And now up these stairs we go right into the main folly, and there's a save crystal here. Right. Now this is where the fun begins. There's four rooms. But also four switches to pull. But there's also a secret in this main room that we do not want to miss. And I think it's the last secret of the level. Now, I can see a bit of blue. I do see a bit of blue. Oh shit, I forgot about the bats. I'll deal with them later. But yeah, the bats do get on my nerves sometimes. Honestly. Ever since Tomb Raider 4, I hate bats. Because the bats in that engine just don't fucking die. You can shoot them for hours and hours. And they just don't want to die. But yeah. You see that pressure plate right there? That opens the door right at the bottom. But it's timed. Do I have enough health for this? Yes, I do. So when you step on it, just rush right down to the bottom. It doesn't matter about health, it doesn't matter about enemies. You'll be fine. Jump! Made it. And then just wait here for some bats. If they want to come in, that is. But they didn't want to come in. Oh shit, yeah, they did. It's only bats. Why am I getting all jumpy? Oh well. Get some items. Love the items. Yep. Yeah, in this main room, there's four rooms. Damocles, the Greek god of the sword above his head. Four. 
the Norse God of Thunder. I think they were supposed to have gone with Zeus, but oh well. Atlas, the God of the World. And Neptune, again, that's the Roman God of Water. It should be Poseidon, which is the Greek God of Water. But yeah, which one's your favourite, guys? Which one do you like? I don't have a favourite, but I have fond memories of Neptune. Like, Neptune just gives me all this. Wait. Hang on, guys. Is there a save crystal at the bottom? I remember there being a save crystal. Because if there is, I'm going to use it. Because I've pulled all the switches now, pretty much. Where the hell are you? I don't think there is a save crystal down here, is there? No. Oh, I really wish this reflection issue was an issue. I wonder what happened. I think there's one way to test it. Palace Midas. Turn to gold. If it's pure gold, then it's just a little glitch. If it's sand, then it's something wrong with the emulator. <gasps> I am the luckiest person alive right now. I don't know what just happened. But I am so glad it didn't kill me. Now that's what you call luck. Right, that's all the rooms unlocked. Where are you, my little save crystal? You're there. Ugh. I'm on the save crystal, why aren't you saving? Right. Now, there's a large mini pack up here. Which is easily missed because you might want to just want to go into that room and do the puzzle. But yeah, as soon as you enter the room, you're going to see swords above your head. They can't hurt you. So don't worry about it. You'll be fine. As long as you just keep going, you'll be fine. I wonder why the cave's ambience is the only ambient track that's used in this game on PS1. I never completely understood that. Was it because they never finished the other ambient tracks? So we had to stick. But then again, the wind ambient track in St. Francis Folly and the rest of the Greece levels does feel out of place. Now we have some fun. <gasps> I thought you had to just walk and you would be fine. Yeah, I just did it wrong. Move your sword. Yeah, if you just keep walking, you'll be fine. Some like to just rapid roll. Hello? Fuck you, then I don't care about you. Yeah, some like to just double roll like this. That works too. But walking, there's multiple different ways to do this. Because they do lock onto like missiles, so you have to be careful. Now. Ooh. And we went through that room without scratch. That went very well, I thought. Now. Here we have four. And there was another save crystal back there. But I want to save it. I'm going to get shot, aren't I? Yep. And I'm going to heal because I have to go back. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Now I always hate this. Ah! Ear rip. Rest in peace and one wearing headphones. But let this be a disclaimer right now. Do not watch my videos wearing headphones. Not unless you want to go deaf. I do shout a lot. I do scream a lot. Not going to lie there. 
But anyway, if you are wearing headphones, then wear them with caution. Don't have me on too loud. I might, I could put in like a little hyperlink thing, annotation, when I'm going to scream, but what fun would that be? Yeah, I love making you guys panic, annoyed, etc. Now we've got to get over that. This jump always gets me, even on PC where you can save anywhere. I always feel like I'm going to die on that one jump. I honestly don't understand why. Right, jump again. Want to make it? Yes. Right. Now we can pretty much leave a room. Dive! Oh, you! I thought I could turn that right, so I didn't get electric shocked. Now, where's that save crystal? Save crystal? Save crystal? Is it up one, maybe? I always hear looking for these save crystals. Oh, it's there. I think I remember it because I saw the bit of blueness. Oh. Go back to where you belong. I'm trying to let's play here. I don't need bats controlling me. It was here, wasn't it? Yes. Now, when there's loads of save crystals in one area and they're invisible, that makes it annoying. But yeah, there's another monkey in here. These are supposed to be gorillas, but they look so cute. So I'm going to call them monkeys. Now, there is an easy, cheap, rare tactic for this. But I'm going to be a YOLO person. I know YOLO is an old-fashioned term, but I don't give a shit. Just keep running. No! Really, what I was supposed to do, I was supposed to grab that ledge and then do a handstand. To get her legs out of the way, I'll be fine. No, I will not be fine because I've got to deal with lions. <sighs> you have to get her legs out of the way. But I kind of missed the platform, so I'm actually surprised that did not kill me. Well, you know what I'm saying. First time for everything. Right? Right? Right, now we've got the key, we can just leave. We can head to the next level now. Oh no, 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 we can't. I'm missing one. Neptune. How could I forget Neptune? How? I don't know how I managed that. But yeah, Neptune's like the best. And then, yeah, some people like to go from top to bottom, which is probably the most sense way to go, the most logical. But I always do bottom to top. And then you know that pressure plate. Take the shortcut to the bottom. Dive into the green water. Yeah, I never understood why it's green on the PS1 and blue on the PC. Is it because the PS1 couldn't handle blue water or something? I never understood that. But then, when you use the ATI Windows patch, the water's green, so I think it has something to do with the DOS. But then again, on Tomb Raider 2, we were using Windows, but the water's blue there. I'm confused. Yeah, about the ATI patch, I would love to get that working, because I would love to play Unfinished Business with the soundtrack. But, yeah, what can you do? I think playing Unfinished Business with Soundtrack would be too weird for me because I played it so much with Silence. Yeah, the expansions, I play them religiously just as much as the main two Raider games. God, I thought there was a hole in the floor then. Right. Now we've got, now we have 
all four keys. Hang on, let me just check. Yes. Now we have all four keys. We can just go to the bottom. We don't have to rush. Ow! Pierre's down there. Wait, Pierre? I don't remember Pierre on PC. Either that or I just don't pay attention. Oh shit! Where's the other line? Where's the other line? Fuck Pierre. Where's the other line? Only one line? There's two on PC. Is that why I don't remember Pierre on PC? Because it's a lion? Huh. I could be wrong, guys, but is Pierre there on PC? I could have sworn he isn't. But anyway, just use all the four keys. To gain entrance to the Colosseum. Yeah, a Colosseum in Greece. Doesn't make sense, does it? But yeah. I think Turby Guard had like issues with his history at the time. But Greece and Rome. I can understand why it's easy to mix them up. Because I think I would as well. But yeah. And that's the end of the level. 18 minutes. Not bad, considering that level is long and it can take like half an hour. Maybe a bit more, especially more on your first playthrough because it's a big level. This is the first big level in the game. Most levels in Greece are big. Colosseum is quite big. Palace Mars is quite big. Cistern is massive. And then you got the Egypt levels. And then the Atlantis levels. Yeah. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the Colosseum of Greece, which is actually supposed to be the Colosseum of Rome, but eh. I guess you could argue that the Romans invaded Greece and placed the Colosseum underneath a monastery. You could argue that, I guess. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, catch you later, like this video, subscribe and turn post notifications on so you never miss a post. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, I'm active everywhere, so stay up to the updates, follow me, catch you all later.